James Dyson is cutting the power cord for good. He's that confident in the Cyclone V10. I had my doubts, but after testing it for a month, I'm on board. I thought our living room was clean until I ran the V10 across it. Look at that. And there it goes. So there's a little bit of fine dust around, but not much. Dyson calls it the point and shoot mechanism for ejecting the sucked up matter deep into the bin. I've never really thought much of vacuum cleaners. I hate them actually, but this has really changed my mind. The digital V10 motor is Dyson's most powerful yet, spinning it up to 125,000 revolutions per minute. To maximize performance, the airflow moves in a straight line, creating 20% more suction than Dyson's popular V8 model. The power source is inspired by electric car technology, a seven cell nickel cobalt aluminium battery. So this is the big question. How long will this vacuum cleaner last between charging? Let's go straight to maximum setting. Let's speed this up 4,000%. I could have done all three stories of the townhouse in this time, but I needed to record this in one unedited shot. I'll post the full untouched video on my tech channel. And there it is, the running time, seven minutes, 42 seconds, using full power and the direct drive cleaning head. More than enough for most homes. It's important to note there's no trigger lock and that was annoying for a long run like the battery test. Unlike some competitors, the V10 Cyclone comes with just one battery and removing it isn't easy. One of the things I like about these sticks, and this one in particular, is that it sits up against the wall really well, so you don't have to hang it up if you don't want to. So let's put it on the charger and see how long it takes till it's ready to go again. So in it goes. My testing showed a flat to full recharge time of three hours, nine minutes, 31 seconds, 20 minutes less than expected. But if you do need a small cleaning burst, a few minutes on the charger will give you enough for a quick hit even at full power. And you need full power to tackle a job like this, cat hair on a black chair. I used every attachment they have in the bag and got most of it off before running out of power. If you've got hard floors, you'll get a much longer run time. Even at the lowest power setting, the soft roller head does the job. Depending on the attachment, you'll get around an hour using low power. So should you bite the bullet and drop a thousand bucks for the Cyclone V10 Absolute Plus? If money isn't a problem, then what are you waiting for? But for most of us, money is an issue. So think of it this way. For less than the price of an iPhone, you get a cordless vacuum cleaner that will pull stuff out of your carpet you never knew was there.